Good afternoon, everybody. It's Janine. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I talk about faith and life. Today's video is a Tuesday morning shopping haul. If you're coming back to hang out with me, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I hope all of you would like, subscribe. Yeah, that subscription. So many more people watch the shopping hauls than actually are subscribed to the channel. And I know that when this video is uploaded, uploaded, I'm not gonna edit it out. It'll just be a blooper that's in the video. But um, yeah, hundreds of people will watch this video and they will not subscribe. So I'm hoping that you will subscribe. If you're not into the Bible study or the Bible journaling videos, just hang out on the Tuesday morning sh haul shopping playlist. Y'all know what I mean. In this video, which I filmed, I started filming before Christmas. I perused the store. Um, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what I bought. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for help. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I started recording this video December 19th, 2021, and sorry it took so long to get the footage up. Right in front of the store, they had some great displays for some easy, uh, I'm gonna call them cash and carry gifts. That was a laptop stand for $29.99. And you can see this streaming setup back there. It was like a camera holder or a tripod type situation with a mic and they had just a variety of gifts right up there in the front on those displays that was cute i had no use whatsoever for that polaroid bluetooth speaker but it sure was cute and it was about twenty dollars had a, a variety of items just like that this was one of my favorite items in the store. It was a telephone booth wine rack. Didn't have any use for that and don't have room for it. It was super cute. There was some culinary things. That was a really heavy um, crystal picture. If you have a bar cart or a bar set up in your house, you may want to check out Tuesday morning. Did I mention this video it is not sponsored, but I would be so, so open to a sponsorship. They had a nice little display of items, you know, for, um, I'm going to call those stocking stuffers. They had the decorative boxes. That was soap uh, in that box. Um, they had socks. They had children's toys. You know, just a little bit of everything at Tuesday morning. That's a diffuser set in uh, that really nice plaid. I think that's Burberry plaid uh, is that style. Diffuser, you know, smells so good. Now, I it's not in the video, but I did try to sm <laughs> smell through that package, and I couldn't. I put that down. They had a whole lot of harvest theme items on sale, 70% off. So if you're the type of person who shops for the holidays, um, you know, the holiday preceding, or I should say after the holiday, um, so you can get the best sales, you may want to check out, um, you know, Tuesday morning for some of those things. Lots of Christmas items still out, you know, really beautiful bulbs, just gorgeous. Those bulbs cost about, oh, $29.99, somewhere in there for just a large pack of really gorgeous glass bulbs. Um, lots of socks on Tuesday morning. That's, I'm gonna call that the the bro section, uh, shaving supplies, but now we know this is unisex, um, yoga supplies, yoga socks, those were about $4.99. Yoga socks are expensive, um, guys, at many stores, so, you know, if you like to bargain shop, you may want to hit up someplace um, like TM, and let's see what's coming up next. The blankets. Um, those were children's blankets. Now, those are pot holders. Uh, um, Christmas themed pot holders, 
cooking gloves, that type of thing. That's what is in that section. So here I am in a craft aisle, just um, looking around at some things, die cuts. Okay, so one of my goals in 2022 is to actually use some of my craft uh, machinery. I have a sink, which I bought it Tuesday morning. I have a um, die cut machine, a scissor, which I bought there as well. I even have a small sewing machine. So yeah, one of my goals is to actually use um, <laughs> some of the things that I have purchased. Nice napkins. If any of you like to do napkin art, you can get some beautiful napkins there. And by napkin art, I mean, um, for example, sometimes when I'm Bible journaling, excuse me, I will use a napkin and use some um, um, matte gel medium or gesso to adhere the napkin. Oh, excuse me, to the page. Um, yeah, so you can do a lot with that. So that's King Art. I noticed they carry a lot of that brand. Um, they had lots of markers and pencils, large sets of them. Uh, now that was photo storage. I thought about purchasing the photo storage because I have a lot of photographs in that size that are not in albums probably will not put them in albums uh, but I didn't get the photo stores because I didn't like the color I almost purchased that paper um, it's vintage um, I like the theme but it was so specific I knew that I would not use it very often that's not really my style though I love florals and uh, I don't know why vintage and florals, why my mind connected that, but oh well. <laughs> it has some Jane um, Davenport. Uh, what is that? I think it was a some type of drawing kit. It didn't cost much. Uh, I, don't, I'm, I'm, I don't remember what that was. I didn't buy it though. And they had a variety of ink. Um, they also had... Um, paint brushes, lots of paint brushes, had plenty of those, lots of markers, um, some die cuts, like I said, and if you, you know, um, if you're into that type of thing, you could have gotten some good prices. They had some things for some really, really good prices. Those were craft scissors, which I did not need another pair. When I tell you super sharp, I have some super sharp craft scissors. So you got to be careful with those. Lots of specialty paper. If you have a vinyl, excuse me, if you have a cutting machine, like a Cricut or a Silhouette, um, you could have racked up on some paper. And they had some great craft mats. Now, I have a few of those. So tempted to pick up another one, but I said, you know what? No, don't. And a little, and I mean by little, a small We Are Memory Keepers section with punch board, uh, rotary fabric cutter, uh, what else did they have? They, they had some paper slicers, paper cutters, um, just a bunch of things. You see the tools uh, for the cutting machine. So yeah, they had a nice little selection. And uh, let's see, made my way over to the kitchen section. There's some good chef knives and they had some, um, what that was right there for $7.99 was a knife sharpener. Uh, a knife sharpener with several I don't know if you call them, but um, I think four compartments for different blades. So it wasn't just like a single for sharpening one blade at a time. Though I don't know who would try to sharpen four blades at a time. So, but anywho, it had multiple compartments. Um, there's always a lot of cooking wear um, at that store. Just every time I go. They had lots of little things. Now that is the skincare section. They had the facial, um, I don't know what you call those. Facial, they're not facial washers, but cleansers. <laughs> Help, oh, I can't speak. I probably need another cup of coffee. Just a little facial cleanser with the different size brushes. Um, some people, some dermatologists like those, some don't. That was a really cute 
laundry hamper. If I had room, I might have picked it up. Um, just, just stylish, and it kind of tucks the laundry away. I really, really like that. Um, made my way over to another section of the store where they had the barrettes, and that was um, the section with the shampoos and conditioners. I have recently discovered that I am allergic to sodium lauryl sulfate, otherwise as known as SLS, and it is typically in shampoos, um, anything for cleansing, um, toothpaste, laundry detergent, uh, skincare products. So if you're experiencing any type of irritation, um, maybe check, read the label, see if it has SLS in it. And the point is, I'm now super sensitive, um, excuse me, hypersensitive to the ingredients list. So every time I, I pick up something, I look for any type of sulfate. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to have my house be a sulfate-free house. That's laundry detergent, that's dish detergent, that's skincare, shampoos, the whole nine. But I did notice that Tuesday morning does have some um, skincare, some serums that are um, at a, just at a great price. So I was like, okay, now what am I looking at there? I think that's a gazebo. Um, anybody have any ideas on how to get good footage? <laughs> Better footage with an iPhone. I'm filming with an iPhone 11. It's I think I just need to practice. That was a nice hammered um, bowl. They had a lot of baskets. Um, and let's see, that's hand soap. All kind of hand soap, all kind of hand sanitizers. Um, let's see, lamps, a lot of lamps. And a large selection of chairs. That was a mattress. And it cost, oop. I didn't quite catch it, but it was on sale. That red tag, I want to say it was less than $300 for one of those mattresses that you unfold out of the box. And I have a friend who has one of those, and she loves it. Lots of, um, what was that, sideboards, console tables. They had a lot of furniture in the store. I'm surprised. I just want to look up on a an electronic fireplace in Tuesday morning. That, that's what I want. I want an electronic fireplace. Um, those things come in so handy. It's been snowing like mad. Well, I take that back. Well, for the area of the country I live in, this is a lot of snow. Some of you probably just get dumped on. So I had a, some great furniture selections. That was a little desk. I'm on the lookout for a vanity. I think it was $1.99. Uh, that was a vanity. And um, the fact of the matter is I don't have a place to put it. They had lots of candles. I think that's the art section right there. I'm trying to figure it out. What, what section is that? No, that is office supplies. Um, kind of desk organizers. Um, little, little things like that for your office. Um, desktop filing systems. Lots of statues. Uh, stuff like that, baskets, um, what I would call kitsch, kitsch is that? Well, let me say knickknacks. Some people say dust catchers. You know, the more that those things you have, the <laughs> more you got to clean them. That was cute. That was a little um, cat figurine. They had so many elephants with the um, trunks raised. Lots of those. And uh, I didn't buy any of that. Lots of statues. In fact, I am very conscientiously decluttering my house. So I'm very careful what I buy. That was the perfume section. Uh, that was Prada. And uh, they had, let's see, what is that? Oops. That is, I believe, that is Versace. That was $49.99. They had Yves Saint Laurent. Um, they had some juicy couture. Um, they had a nice variety of perfumes. What is that? Jimmy Choo? Jimmy Cho? 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 Um, somebody tell me how to correctly pronounce the man's name. Don't want to be insulting. And they had that, that oldie but goodie, Elizabeth Taylor White Diamond. 
who wears Elizabeth Taylor white diamond? Somebody please put a comment in the comment section. If your mama wears it, I want to know. Okay, they had Elizabeth Taylor white diamond. Uh, they had Nautica, as you can see, just a variety of things. They did have some Burberry as well. They seem to have more women's perfumes than they had men's colognes. That was just my, um, what is that, Maso? Wasso? I, I can't even tell what that is. Never heard of it before, but they had it. Uh, yeah, Moschino. They had a night variety. Um, if you are into perfume and you want to get them at a really uh, affordable price. I know I sound like a, a Tuesday morning commercial. <laughs> uh, but um, I promise you this video is not sponsored. But uh, they, they had a nice little variety of um, of perfume. So I was really, really excited about that. So um, yeah, it was a real nice trip to the Tuesday mornings. All right, all right, I'm back. Now, um, in the spirit of disclosure, the, first of all, the video is not sponsored. You probably saw that uh, in the footer at the beginning. Oh, and also, I've been working with my lighting. I would love to know what you think uh, about the lighting and all of that. And I have a different setup. And so I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to try to figure out how to get that overhead um, shot with the new setup. I'm just gonna show you what I have, right? Um, so first things first, this is a Versace perfume set. Versace, and I'm gonna put my glasses on and I'm telling you in advance, you're gonna see the reflection. So we have um, Dylan Blue, Dylan Turquoise, Bright Crystal and Yellow Diamond. You can tell I already um, I already unwrapped the package. Thus far, my favorite is the Dylan Turquoise. This one right here, it smells really good. It was $59.99 and I got two paper packs. This is the Bella Boulevard. Bella Boulevard, it's got a summertime beach theme. These are cardstock stickers. This was $7.99. And it's got um, cardstock stickers, as I said. Um, printed paper, you see double-sided detail pages, um, a 12 by 12 floral paper, and some faux washi. I don't know if you can see that, like here. So I thought this was really pretty. I do want to do more crafting and I want to get into Project Life videos. So let me know if um, if you're interested in that type of video. I typically film the haul, post it, and then I don't show you guys what I did with the, what I bought. So if you're interested in, put a comment in the comment section. And if you have discovered any really interesting finds at Tuesday morning, put a comment down there so people can um, yeah, so people can learn from you and, and perhaps uh, get a hook up at their local Tuesday morning, okay? This is Walking on Sunshine, Dina Rudder, Echo Park Paper Company. This is a vacation themed paper set. Um, and it was $5.99, made in the USA. Um, here's the back. There are several pages of sticker sheets in here. Uh, 12, 12 by 12 double-sided papers, including cover. So um, I think that's a really good deal for 12 by 12 um, sheets. You know, some pages, sometimes one page costs a um, dollar or so. Let me see if this is made in the US, this Bella Boulevard. For those of you who are interested in that, I don't see, if it's made in the US, it doesn't say um, that it is anywhere where I can easily discern that, okay? But yeah, um, that's what I purchased during my last Tuesday morning shopping haul. Thanks for hanging out with me during this video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading new videos. And you know what? I hope that all is well in your world 
that you're staying safe, that your family is safe, that um, you are blessed beyond measure. And until next time, bye now.